Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Mom Life 7. Today I have another 99 sister haul for you guys. Um, I apologize if I seem like I'm rushing because, as I mentioned before, we just had, a, unfortunately, had a death in our family, one of the matriarchs of the family. <laughs> so it's a very big one, and we're about to go out of town to uh, attend the services. So um, before I left town, I wanted to um, get this haul filmed. Cause this is the last stuff I actually bought and um, so by the time you see this video we'll be gone we'll be you know southbound we'll be in Southern California SoCal so unless I buy anything out there this is gonna be it for a while but anyway if you're new to my channel welcome 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 if you're a returning subscriber uh, thank you so much for returning I appreciate everyone and uh, we're getting still getting closer to that thousand subscriber mark where I'm gonna be doing my giveaway I'm gonna try to go through this as fast as I can um, um, if you like videos like this, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. You know, leave me a comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you guys to stick around. Let me get into what I got. Okay, so uh, we got this uh, Smart Balance. It's light butter and it's a light butter and canola oil blend. It contains omega threes, uh, fifty percent less calories than uh, saturated fat. I mean, fifty percent less calories and saturated fat than butter. It's a spread. It's spreadable. Um, I thought it was um, interesting. I bought Smart Balance spreads before, so and they had another one. What was the other one called? You know what? Check check me out on Instagram. If you go to my Instagram, the same handle to Mom Life Seven, you'll see the other spread that I found. I saw somebody found a regular one like this that was not light, but that's what I found was light, and the other one was something. Pro I don't know what it was called. <laughs> I've heard of it before, but I, I didn't grab that one. Anyway, if you check me out on Instagram at the Mom Life Seven, you'll you'll see the other spread that I did find, but I didn't buy that one. Okay, that was ninety nine cent. Uh, another cool find. I had saw this before previously, but I passed on it. And then I decided, you know, we kept looking at it, we kept seeing it, so I, was, ah, I guess we might as well go ahead and give it a try. It's by Gordon's. It's a limited edition. It's a stout battered cod bites. I mean, it's, it's stout, stout battered cod bites. And you know, we all know about that stout beer, that Guinness, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, these were $2.99. You get 28 pieces in here. So, hey, even though no, they're using a different type of beer, they're using something called Cape and Brewing Company's Blackburn Stout. See, I never heard of that. The only stout I really know about is Guinness. <laughs> but anyway, anyhow, I'm sure, I'm hoping it's going to be good, so we'll give it a try. Okay, we also found this uh, red grapefruit uh, by Tropicana. Um, it's 52 fluid ounce bottles of full size, but we only grabbed one to give it a try. So hopefully this is good. In a previous haul, I featured these um, Oreo Thins, pistachio flavored Oreo Thins, and so my, we all love them. Even my baby girl, my eight-year-old, she was like, oh, as soon as she tastes I'm taking these in my snack bag today to school. So I'm so stupid. I went back and grabbed one more pack, but I probably should have grabbed more because this is definitely a thumbs up for our family. Also grabbed this, a uh, perfect size for one by Duncan Heinz. Um, this is the s'mores cake, fantastic s'mores. So my kids love s'mores. You get four individual packets and in pouches in here. Uh, microwaves in about a minute. So I decided to get this for my kids to try because they love anything s'mores, you guys. All right. Now, <laughs> normally, honestly, when I get these snacks, they don't really be for me. Uh, occasionally, and I never really get the chance to try all of them. I let the family do it. But this right here, I happened to grab a bag, and one day, and I was just like, "Did we grab one or two bags? One? one? Anyway, I think I grabbed one, and I happened to bust it open, and I started snacking on them in the car, you know, out there on the road, hauling and hungry. And these things are fantastic. Oh my God, they're good. These are a thumbs up for us all the way. And I was, I couldn't stop eating them. And then I brought some home. I let my daughter taste them. Dum Dum, he taste them. And yeah, it was a plus for us. So we went back and like an idiot, and only grabbed one more bag, but we should have grabbed two or three or four or five or six of them. Anyway, these are 99 cent. These are the Hostess Bakery Petite Chocolate Brownie Crispy Thins. That's why I spent a lot of time on this product. These are these are excellent. Thumbs up all the way for our family. We also found this by Pe Pepperidge Farm. It's the Nantucket dark chocolate. You know, as women, we need our dark chocolate. So yeah, we grabbed these 99 cent and they um, baked with big chocolate chunks. So yeah, we got these. Excellent deal. We also grabbed this. I might pronounce it wrong. Tihava, Tihava. 
This is the unsweetened tea. This is the original black tea. I think I grabbed two of these. I mean, they might have been 99 cents each. And then we also grabbed this. Um, this is the peach black tea. So it's peach black tea. So we grabbed two of these as well. So they're unsweetened. So you can drink them like this. I know like 99 cents or more. She says she loves stuff that's unsweetened. Um, yeah, check her out on Instagram, you guys. She posts some amazing finds. Oh, my God. And then, um, yeah, you can add your own sweetener. You know, whatever your favorite sweetener is if you decide to sweeten it. All right. We also picked up these. We also picked up these. Now, I've never seen these before. It's a spark. This is sparkling wild berry. Um, this is a... It says Healthy Delights is Tea Topia. It's an infused tea. This one says Zen Focus, Refresh Your Mind and Focus. And this one is, um, is non-GMO. It says it's infused with Yerba Mate and Green Tea. Whatever the hell that is. I don't know what the hell Yerba, Yerba Mate is. Y'all tell me. Leave me a comment down below if y'all know what that means. I know about the Green Tea part. With natural caffeine, and oh, I'm not gonna even try to tackle those words. 12 full, full ounce cans. So we grab like two of each flavor. We got two of this flavor. This is the uh, sparkling wild berry. This right here is the kiwi melon. Um, okay, this one said it's a supplement tea. Huh. And it says dream on relieves occasional uh, occasional sleepiness. Re relieves occasional sleepiness. Now I need this because I have trouble sleeping. It's not GMO. Oh wow. See that's why. This one contains, it's infused with chamomile and lavender. Mmm. Yeah I think this one is mine. I got two of this flavor as well you guys. If you got, well I'm not going to do that either. If you guys try any of these teas and y'all know what they taste like, let me know. So I'm probably going to try these when I get back. I might take them on the road with me. I don't know. Road trip. Alright. And this right here is a sparkling passion raspberry. Um, this one, okay, this is another infused tea. It's called Happy Face, and it said refresh your body and, mo and mood. Okay, refresh your body and mood. Yeah, we all need that. <laughs> and then um, it's infused with passion flower and lavender tea. Okay, all right. So yeah, we're gonna give these a try. Y'all tried these before? Let me know. This actually got left out of my last couple of hauls. <laughs> I suppose I had this up like a, a, maybe two or three hauls ago. But anyway, either way, this is the Heinz Sweet Relish. Uh, it's a 16.5 uh, fluid ounce bottle, and it was 99 cents. So yeah, y'all know I'm gonna be hooking up some tater, sa tater salad. Ain't that what we call it? Tater salad and stuff for Thanksgiving or Christmas or something. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, another cool find was this right here. It's by Lipton. It's an iced tea. Uh, it's an ice. It's a southern sweet tea, uh, specially blended for iced tea. And it's sweetened already. It's sweet iced tea mix for was it four point seven flood? And anyway, this makes one picture. I'm gonna grab one to give it a try because we do have a lot of tea already. Now, if we like it and we see it again, we may grab more. But that's what I grabbed so far. Now, you guys may have saw these like some hauls back. And my daughter kept saying, "Mom, oh my God, if you see some more, grab twenty bags. These are amazing." And I was like, uh -huh, "Yeah, whatever." She kept trying to force me to try it. I finally tried it and she was not lying. Now these are here. These are boss. These are player. Pe these are pepperidge for them. These are the Milano slices with the sweet toffee. These are winner. These are a thumbs up for our family for sure. I grabbed three more bags. I probably should have grabbed more. But they expire next month on her birthday. So anyway, we do have three of these. We're going to take some on the road with us. Yep. So yeah, those are definitely a hit around here for us. Now... Another cool find was this, uh, I never tried these before, it's Mike's Mighty Good Craft Ramen. Have you guys heard of that before? What the hell is Craft Ramen? Maybe I'm a little slow. This is beef pho rice noodle soup. Actually, when I get down to Southern California, um, the Native family recommended a nice uh, pho place out there for, us to, uh, for me to check out. So yeah, let's see what's up with that. It's made with organic ramen. Ain't that fancy, y'all? Insanely rich broth. Okay, so it's one point. I guess these. I'm assuming these are individual. I got different ones, so let me go through these as fast as I can. So this is one flavor, which was the the beef pho rice noodle soup. Okay, we also got and this is um. Oh shoot! It look like I said fried garlic chicken. Okay, fried garlic chicken. All right, and. We also got this uh, vegetarian kimchi ramen soup. Yeah, we we familiar with the kimchi. We, we like our kimchi. 
We also got this pork. Now I'm gonna mess this name up. Y'all help me. Um, Tom, Tom, Tom Kosu, Tom. Uh, T O N K O T S U. I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to talk to some of my little Asian friends and tell, them to act, tell me what that say. Anyway, Tonkos, I don't know. Pork. <laughs> Y'all know what that is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, wow. This is savory miso. Okay, that sounds really good. Savory miso, y'all. We also got these. These are the mighty, uh, Mike's Mighty Good Craft Ramen, but these are in the noodle cups. And this right here. It is a spicy beef ramen. So yeah, we're gonna give that a try. We also got oh another pork tonko 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 soup. I don't know. <laughs> Nap kind. <laughs> Y'all help me out now. Bear with me. Don't judge me. Don't come for me. And this is a chicken ramen soup. Okay, so yeah. I don't know how these taste, but somebody did leave me a, a message on Instagram and was like they ooh, like they was kinda of excited about those and wanted to find them. Now we also found these by Vlastic. These are roasted red peppers. They're sweet. And I'm thinking about making something. Maybe some hoagie sandwiches. I don't know. I've been my mind going. I'm thinking. You know the holidays come. Everybody get a little down, a little depressed. So, you know, sometimes cooking will help you. Like be my therapy. And I got this right here by Vlastic as well. And that was 99 cent too. This was as well. This is a sriracha topper. So I was thinking about, you know how you go to the to the Philadelphia, um, the Philly cheesesteak place, and you get those cheesesteak hoagies. Well, I get the chicken, chicken and cheese, and I'm thinking about doing like a little hoagie. I can get some hoagies from, you know, bread from the um, 99 cent store and get some chicken or something and make me some little hoagies and put the stuff. This is the spicy one. The other one will be sweet, you know. So I don't know if that's traditionally what they do in Philly because I've never been there. I had to ask my homegirl. And then uh, we also got this right here. That was 99 cent. This was as well. This is on the border, you guys. Um, of course, I've been to that restaurant many times on the border, and we had some uh, tortilla chips from them recently. We hauled. Anyway, this is the salsa con, con queso. It was one ninety nine. It's a pretty big jar, seventeen point five full ounces. Somebody was excited when they saw these on my Instagram too. <laughs> and then we also got this flavor. This is the Monterey Jack uh, queso. Queso, queso. If I, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. I apologize, you guys. We also got this right here, um, cookies and cream cake, perfect size for one by Duncan Hines. You get four pouches in there. We also got these. I saw the Native family call these, and you know she's a coffee fanatic. She just her husband just bought her this fantastic uh, coffee maker, coffee machine, coffee. It's like her own Starbucks. Anyway, it says coffee is a hug in your mug. These are you know like disposable, hot and cold. It's a five pack. Uh, and it comes with the lids and everything, you know, to take your coffee on the go, you know, on your way to work, school, running there, whatever you're doing, you know, whatever we do, you know. So I got that. It's pretty cool. Uh, what else I got? Uh, don't judge me. But, yeah, I had to get some ripe bananas. Got these for the 99 to make my son a banana pudding. And, uh, yeah. I don't even look like I'm going to be making it when I get back. He's going to probably take them bananas with us on the road. He's going to get me too, y'all. All right. And then we also got this Jello Simply Good Vanilla Bean uh, Pudding. Made with real vanilla bean. And then we also got this. Uh, this is the banana flavored. Uh, made with real banana. And they had chocolate and caramel. They had a lot of different other flavors. You'll have to check my Instagram for those other flavors. All right. Now... We also found these right here. I'm probably going to pronounce his name. It's, I think it's Ricordo, Ricordo Italiana, or something like that. Popa di Pomodoro. I know about Pomodoro. I know that part. These are chopped tomatoes in a can. I don't know what else to tell. They were 99 cents. I got two of these. So I get two chopped. And then I also, I'm dropping shit. I mean, I'm dropping stuff. I also got these. Um, these are cherry tomatoes and tomato sauce. So I'm going to be doing some like, you know, tomato based dishes. I put tomatoes in a lot of those diff different dishes I make. Especially with the holidays coming up when we're making chili and, you know, goulash and different stuff. So anyway, we also got these right here. Is it Visconti? Flavors of Italy. Italian plum peeled tomatoes. So I got two cans of these. And uh, somebody done grabbed these. It, grab this. It's the tomato sauce. But it's a pretty big can. So these are all big like... 28 ounces. 
than what the tomato sauce is 29 ounces actually. Okay, now this is a pretty big <laughs> big bottle. This is the uh, uh, by that same brand with the tomatoes, and this is a tomato puree, and it's a 24.3 foot. It's big. It's big. I don't know if you can make a bloody mary with this. Well, if I grab two of these, I'm gonna make something with it, you guys. If you got any ideas? Leave me a comment down below. But yeah, I'm gonna make something with that. This is a four pack of um, sparkling water. I think I've seen a Native Family haul these. Uh, she posted them on Instagram at least. Check out her Instagram too, by the way, the Native Family. Uh, check them out on YouTube and Instagram. This is Cabo Sparkling Water. We love sparkling water. This is the. Oh wow! I didn't realize that. This is the pomelo grapefruit flavor. I love pomelo grapefruits. Those are my favorite grapefruits. I be my little uh, manicures at the nail shop used to be bringing me those when she found out I liked them. I broke my ankle and she would come to my house and do my pedicure manicure for me. <laughs> yep, made home calls, uh, home visit, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Calorie free, sugar free, sodium free. Just you know, you guys know. It's actually these are a four pack. One just fell off as he was handed it to me. This is another flavor. I got bad luck today. Every time I grab a four pack, one falls off. It's telling me to take it with me, right? All right. So this is the lemon lime flavor. Oh no, it's just lime. Lima slash lime. Okay, maybe it's lima it's in Spanish. Okay, anyway, it's lime. This is lime flavored. All right, we got the lemon. Yeah, we got the lemon flavor. So these are four packs and they're 99 cents each, right? Yeah, so we got one in each flavor. We got a four pack of each flavor. Lemon, lime, and pomelo grapefruit. Wow, how cool is it? How did you know that was pomelo? All right. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so you guys, so what I had, we have been hauling at a, the Stella Rosa Black, and those things are, oh my God, they're amazing, they're good, they're thumbs up all the way, two thumbs up, but they say two middle fingers up, two thumbs up for us, and someone said, hey, you found the white one, I'm like, no, and I have finally found the pink one, and then we finally found, so I haven't tried this yet, but I got it, this is, they're calling this the platinum, so we got this four pack, what are these, like $5.99, $4.99, <laughs> something like that they're either $4.99 or $5.99 don't quote me because I can't remember so I got the platinum your girl got the pretty and pink again I got this before and I, this is my first time getting the white one though platinum we trying to go platinum y'all you feel me anyway I got the pretty and pink and then you know you can't go wrong with black we always got to keep it black around here and I got that black that black oh my god they're good so we're gonna be nice and toasty I'm gonna grab one of each. I wanted to go ham, but you know, it ain't in my budget right now. Let me show you guys something amazing that I found. This is an amazing find. Right here. It says chocolate chip cookie. Um, you bake it in the skillet. Yeah, bake it in, bake in skillet and chocolate chip mix. It was $3.99. Well, I think these are so amazing because I found basically the exact same thing, different brand, but nonetheless, as a matter of fact, it, the one I found at, I found it at Kohl's, the other one. And it wasn't even as heavy as it come with. I mean, we all know about the cast iron skillet. I mean, you know, might have to hit somebody beside the head. Dude, like, you know, never know. But anyway, yeah, these are like little individual ones. And um, $3.99. Well, actually, I found some at Kohl's for $14.99. So basically 15 bucks. And then when I went back, after I found these at the 99, I went back and they were on sale for like 13 bucks because they were like 10% off. But how cool are these? So I got, well, I know my son, he don't like chocolate. So this may go to my daughter, my eight-year-old, and for my son, I think this is more. So I got two of those because I got a. I'm giving. We're keeping one of each flavor, and then we're giving one of each flavor away to family members. So we also. I think I'm gonna get another chocolate chip to my aunt as a gift for Christmas. I hope she don't watch this video. I don't think so. Hopefully not. And we also got this sugar cookie one. This is gonna be for my son. So I'm going to let the kids and we'll supervise them and have them to bake these little things. That'll be really, really fun. They put the ice cream on top. Oh, yeah, that's going to be player right there. So I got this for my son. And then, who is this, mom? <laughs> now, anyway, and then we got the right here, the fudge brownie. Uh, this is the fudge brownie. These are $3.99. Excellent deal because the only place I, ever, I saw them at, other place was Kohl's and they're $15, bucks, 13 on sale. So yeah, this is an excellent deal. It's really cute, makes a cute gift idea. Family member, coworker, whoever. So I want to like the bake. Just some, even if I'm not, this is really cute. I would probably just sit this up in the kitchen and just let it sit there and look pretty. You know me, I'm a little collector slash hoarder. Get that from my aunt and my grandma. Anyway, so I got two brownies 
uh, like I said, I got two sugar cookies. I mean, two chocolate chip, two sugar, and two fudge brownies. We're keeping one of each flavor. And then we got a flavor of each going to family members. Okay, moving along, I got this Firefly ready to go toothbrush. This is Hello Kitty. How cute is this, you guys? Let me see. I push it. Oh, wow. It lights up. I got this. Oh, wow. Google. I'm not talking to you, Google. Google, stop. Shut up. All right, anyway, got this for my daughter. Really, really cute. Hello Kitty. How cute is that? Here they are. And then I finally found her. Remember, I got my son and one of my other hauls, the little. Ooh, I was the neighbors. Okay, I got him a little. Uh, the two brush with the little race car. Oh my god, we got him the one with the blue race car. And I was looking for these for my daughter and I finally found them. So I got a label the pink one because it has unicorn on it. So what I'm doing is, it should be another cork one actually. Because I'm making gift, um, like gift bags, Christmas gift bags for the holiday gift bags for the other kids in the family. Or gift stockings or bag, whatever it fits. So I got this for Nine Eye. Um, my son's daughter her and Layla the same age Layla and her niece is the same age basically like a month apart so uh, we got nine out of purple and we got Layla the pink how cute is that a two brush with a doll come on now and the boys are the two brushes with the race cars I can't find what color we got baby red green or yellow green yeah we got him a green one I can't I can't locate it right now for, for a little baby Ray Prince but I call him baby Ray you know we got a prince in the family but you know I just call him what I've been calling him since the baby. Anyway, we got this right here, which I did not intend on buying. I was showing him this, and I told him to put it back, and he grabbed it anyway. But the cool thing about it is by Luxury Essentials, it's a gentle hair remover. Removes hair instantly. Great for facial hair. Can be used daily. Safe for all skin types. It was $7.99. I was kind of mad. It's battery. Oh, battery is included. So, when I got this, I was kind of mad that he grabbed it. I was like, I don't feel like going back. You know, their return policy sucks. So, I was like, okay. And then I happened to go to Kohl's, and they had one of these, a different brand, but it was, oh, I'm just kidding. It was $20, you guys. Because I had looked online, and they were going between $20 and $25. Bucks, and I saw one at Kohl's. It looked, it looked just like this, you guys. And it, I took a, I think I've added on my Instagram story. Check me out on Instagram. I added this and the little uh, skillet, bacon and skillet uh, desserts treats or whatever and they, they these go for about 20 to 25 bucks you guys so 7.99 is a good deal i don't know how it works but hey i, I might got a couple of hairs on my face to try it on who knows <laughs> hormones hormones <laughs> anyway all right i thought this was really cute these are chalk chalkboard chalkboard labels you get 24 look how cute these are so it's 24 in each pack and you just take them, and I guess you can stick them and peel them on your little jars, you know, canisters, like rice, pasta, you know, flour, sugar, cornmeal, whatever. <laughs> and then they got these. These are like the plain ones. These don't have a porter. So these are just plain black. You get 24 of these as well. They were 99 cents, so I grabbed one of each style. Thought it was really cute. Uh, cute and cool. Alright. Also got these for the kids. These are my five five. My kids got so many toothbrushes. They should have nice teeth. So let me dental check up. Okay, this is the Star Wars with lightsaber light up timer toothbrush. Now I got them some lightsaber toothbrushes before, previously, but they they didn't come in this little can thing. So this one I think is for Layla because you see it's a female on there, and so this is Layla's, and then for my baby boy PJ. He got this. Really, Daddy? Are you still playing with me? How do you hit the button on here? I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. Okay. He got this one. The black one. Like Darth Vader. Is that like Darth Vader or somebody? I don't know who it is. <laughs> anyway, these were 99 cents. I mean, how cool is that? 99 cents. Actually, when it rung up, it said, oops, a ding, or uh-oh, or something. The register said something. But they gave them to us for 99 cents. Hey, it's still going. But anyway, this, is, uh, this one is for my son. I was just going to get him one at first since she had the Hello Kitty one, but I thought about it. They might fight over it because it has the little tin thing. So the tin thing, you can use it for other stuff, I'm sure. I don't know. Or maybe it's just a store of the toothbrush, but this is by Star Wars. So how cool is that, you guys? For 99 cents? That's excellent. I've never heard of these before. Well, I heard of something similar, but these are uh, Pine Brothers Victoria's Family Formula uh, Daily immu Immune Support. And um, this is the tangerine flavor. You get 10 tablets per, per tube, so they were 99 cents each. I got two of these, two tangerine, and then when I went back, I found the um, pomegranate flavored one. So we got those as well, too. 
So yeah, um, we're gonna give those a try for immune support. I definitely need it, you guys. Also, excuse me. I also thought these were super, super cute, uh, fun file triple pack, and um, it's just some, you know, nail files. And this one has like the little lips and polish and the, the shoes and bags and more. Just your, you know. So I thought it was really cute. And then you get a solid black one for ninety nine cents. So I grab that. And then I had never really heard of this before, and I saw it and I looked it up. And this was ninety nine cent, and they go for like around five bucks elsewhere, like Walmart and. Walgreens and other places, so I thought it was super cool um, for the kids. Or, you know, they get a fever. We just went through a little something with, um, you know, one of the kids in the family having a really high fever and having a seizure. So yeah, I, mean, I thought these would be cool to give it a try. You get four four sheets in here, so I actually grab two packs. If I see more, I'm gonna grab more because I can give my daughter one to take home for her baby. Then I have one for Layla and one for BJ. So that's what I was thinking. I don't know how they work, but they probably work pretty good. Okay, I thought this was really super cute and cool. These are by the London Soho New York brand. And it got the little look, the little pom-pom on it. And it's like a little bag. And it comes with bottles in here, you guys. Like, and you know, we're about to travel, so I might take one of these with me on the road. Because you get, like, especially if you're catching a plane, it comes with like little travel size bottles. You get four of them in here. One, two, three, four. Four. Like travel size um, bottles, you can put lotion or face wash or you know whatever, body wash or whatever. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have somebody else in. But look right here, and these were 99 cent. So I actually grabbed. Oh, I thought I grabbed three. Did I grab four? Lord have mercy. I thought I grabbed three, but I actually grabbed four. I thought I put one back, but I didn't. So I got four of these. I might actually. You know what? I know why I grabbed four. I'm giving one away. Put that one in my bag. That one's going on the road with us. I'm giving one away. Okay, so now I remember. <laughs> All right, now, these were super, super cute for Layla. Um, this is a, a flavored lip gloss. This is the Laffy Tab, Taffy Mystery Show. Yeah, put that on my purse. Put that on my purse. That's for, for our girlfriend. All right, Laffy Taffy um, flavored lip gloss mystery swirl. And uh, I thought it was so cute, 99 cents. We also got the Nerd, y'all. How cool is that? Flavor lip gloss. And then we got sweet sweeties. Oh, smarties. I'll be getting a mix of sweethearts, smarties. I can't keep up. Anyway, these are the smarties. Either way, it's still cute. <laughs> and we got it. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna use some of these for the stocking stuffers. Or really, I'm gonna use some of these for the stocking stuffers or gift bags. I'm making for the kids for Christmas. Of course, these would be for the girls, not the boys. <laughs> but anyway, this is the Charms Blow Pop Cherry and Grape. You get two of flavors. You get the cherry and the grape. You get two of them in there. That's really cool because you get two for 99 cents. Amazing. And then we also got the Lucky Charms. I don't know what flavors you get in here. It's like a little purple and a pink one. I don't know. Lucky Charms. How cool is that? <laughs> and then, hey, come on now. Fund it a fund it. I don't know what flavor. I'm assuming cherry and blue. I don't know what flavor. This is like a green and blue. It's like a blue one and a red one. Cherry and blue. Blue raspberry or something. <laughs> We've all been kids before, right? We know. And then we got the pears. How about that pears? It's like a purple and pink. Two of them for 99 cents. How amazing is that? Great. These make perfect, excellent stocking stuffers for the kids, you guys. We also got these. How cute are these? These are first aid kits. Little Smurfs, the Lost Village, the Lost Village. It's a 50 kit. So it's a first aid kit. I guess you get 50. Oh, 50 kid aid is a kid aid essential or something like that. Anyway, cleans, treat, and protects. So we got a blue one for my son. I think they had green and clear. They had other colors, and I got this orange one for my daughter. We're taking first aid kits on the road, of course, with us today. So. Now, I had put this on my Instagram a while, a while back. People were going bananas over it. And I wanted to grab it for my daughter then. Because I had, I don't know if you guys remember in previous, I bought me a nice uh, gel pen set. And she wanted them so bad. She said, Mom, I want them, I want them. And she kept going, said, girl, if you don't get out my gel pens, my little eight-year-old. So when I saw this, I'm like, <laughs> play her. Now I'm going to give this to her for Christmas. She better not touch my gel pens. You feel me? I need something for myself. 
Now these were $3.99, but this is an excellent deal. You get 20 of them. You get 20. It's 10 scented and I think 10 regular. Classic ones. So you get two cents of each. Um, but two banana, two orange, two apple, two cherry, two grape, and then 10 classic gel pens. So yeah, I did my homework, y'all. Anyway, five yummy scents. Got that for my baby girl. Maybe she'll leave my stuff alone. Alright. What am I doing? All right, also got these right here They're by London, Soho, New York. It's a seven piece full face set. And uh, yeah, so I thought that was really cool. And it has like the polka dots. I grabbed three of these, you, you guys, by the way, because we're gonna keep some and then I'm gonna probably give one away to somebody. The third one's gonna uh, be a giveaway. Maybe a gift for someone for Christmas, who knows, but you get seven uh, brushes in here for 99 cents, so can't go wrong with that. Also found uh, more of our beautiful Tartan and Twine. Look at the gift. Look at the packaging. Look at the packaging. This is like a Kabuki brush, I believe, and a beauty blender or whatever it's called in blending. Yeah, it said blending set. So yeah, you guys. I grabbed three of these because we're going to keep two and then we're going to give one away. I don't know. I've been doing everything in threes lately, y'all. Okay. Now we also grabbed this. Now I didn't like the price. It was two ninety nine, but this is another Soho London New York brush set. You get the Kabuki brush, you get a concealer, foundation, and a powder brush. So, I mean, either way, you know, I guess it's a good deal. I'm just cheap. I want everything to be 99 cents, 99 cents. So, I grab how many of these? Two? Since they were $2.99, your girl was being cheap, hey. Struggle is real. So, I only grabbed two of these. Now, these are by Kestrel, and these were $2.99 as well. Not happy with it. This is the full um, face. Oh, speaking of the other ones, these, they're calling these a complexion brush set complexion by the way I didn't mention that this is a full face brush set you guys by Castrell $2.99 you get one two three four five you get six brushes in there so I thought it was a cool I just didn't want to pay $2.99 but I grabbed two of these as well the print is pretty cool uh, I was super excited about these right here this is by Kestrel as well. It's a strobing brush set with the organizer. And it was $2.99. You get the buff brush, all over face brush, and a detail brush. And it comes, look at this bag. Look at this. Look at this, you guys. Check it out. Check this out. It comes with this nice little, I haven't unzipped it and went inside of it yet, but yeah, I grabbed two of these. I don't think they're really cute. The brushes are really cute brushes. And then you get this bag. I thought that was cool. So I got two of these. Your girl also got two of these. Check this out. Okay, so this is the Kestrel. This is the Smoky Eye Brush Set. The other one, what did they call the other one? Oh, I told you guys. The other one was the Strobin Brush Set. Brush set. So this is the Kestrel Smoky Eye Brush Set. This is cute. And you get one, you get four brushes and then you get this bag. Look how cute the little clutch. They call it with the clutch. So this is like a clutch bag and it's pretty. It's cute, you guys. Look at it. Check it out. Again, this is a very beautiful set. You get these beautiful, beautiful brushes. You get this beautiful clutch bag with the little tassel, and you know, you put stuff inside. The brushes are other stuff. I thought it was a really cute set. Didn't like the price of $2.99, but either way, it's a very cute set. They call this what is it? Okay, see back for beauty tips. Oh, okay. Get the beauty tips. How to do a smoky eye, I guess. All right, we got some free stuff. This is a double wall goblet. Really, really cute. Double wall goblet. Got that free. They have free Halloween stuff. I didn't go ham like I normally do. And we got this right here. Free. In Halloween collection. We also got this nice little picture. I don't know how many we got, but we got the um, picture. We got some of the stuff we got multiples of. I didn't go, you know, grab a whole bunch. We also got this right here. Got the skulls, or maybe like a skull reef or something. I don't know what they call it. We also got this. It says Happy Halloween. Guess you can hang it up. We got several of those as well. All free. And what else did we get free? Anyway. Alright, so now this wasn't free. Uh, 99 cents was a Hatchimal. It's like a, a bag slash stocking. You know, the whole stuff. And I got that for my daughter. She really loves Hatchimal. Hatchimal. Uh, I got this right here for my son. I'm trying to find one for my daughter. It's a PJ Masks uh, candy cane. It's grape flavored. 99 cent. And then how cool is this you guys? It was $2.99 but it's a, it's a giant candy cane. 
I don't know how many kids gonna tackle this, but we sure gonna give it a try. <laughs> a lot of peppermint hot chocolate, a lot of peppermint and everything. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but this is a giant. It's really huge, guys. I can't even begin to tell y'all how big it is. It's huge and thick too. So I don't know how we gonna tackle that. Okay. We also got this car mount, uh, car mobile mount. It was one ninety nine. Okay, another cool find I got for my daughter. This is gonna be a stocking stuffer for her. She's called Pinkie Pie, My Little Pony. Something girls, at something Escateria girls, minis, ages five and older by Hasbro. They had other ones, but this is just the one I grabbed to get as a stocking stuffer for my daughter. Hopefully she likes that one, I don't know. Um, we also got this right here. This is a flexible bracket. It was $1.99. Um, that was not, oh, actually, you know what? You guys, sorry. Pinkie Pie or whatever her name is. She was $1.99 too. I didn't realize that. Now, maybe I realized it when I bought it, but not now. <laughs> anyway, this is a flexible bracket. Phone holder Universal 360. It was $1.99. I got it in pink. They had black. And they probably have other colors. Gray. Okay. Anyway, I got this. I'm going to give this a try. Oh, I'm going to take this with me on the road. Anyway, so yeah, I got this to give this a try. It's $1.99. This is a, a copper shelf. They're calling it crumb, Crumby. Uh, as seen on TV, it's a mini vacuum. It's kind of picking up everything, you guys. And it's uh, by Copper Chef and 1200 RPM micro vortex motor. So little, so much power. And it was $2.99. They had an emoji one I saw and I thought it was really cute. And I thought about getting it. And I passed on it. And I went back and I saw this copper one. And it said Copper Chef. I couldn't resist it, y'all. But uh, it shows on the uh, on the other one. I know that emoji ones were showing like how you can pick up crumbs off of the counter, the you know the table, you know you might use in the car. I don't know, or the bed, or you know, crumb busting brushes. It says uh, fusion mesh air filter. So works on hard surfaces and upholstery upholstery surfaces too. So like I said, I can't really show you guys, but it's a very beautiful car. It kind of look like an egg, kind of like a copper egg. <laughs> But it's really cute. It was $2.99. I thought it was cute and cool. So here we go. And then I got this for my uh, daughter, for my baby girl, Layla. It's Beauty and the Beast. Um, this is Belle. And Belle is her favorite princess, according to her. Why? I don't know. But she said it's her favorite. And it was $6.99. But my older daughter, the oldest one, Portia, has said that uh, she the one that got her liking Belle. But this is not the original. But it's like the new one where they revamped it. So I was like, oh, well. Excuse me. I didn't realize it. But either way, Layla still likes it. And she's going to have this for Christmas. It's going to be for her for Christmas. Really cute, you guys. Really cute. And then I got this right here. I'm not sure because I have a roaster pan with the uh, rack on it. Actually, I used to make me a uh, prime rib. Yeah, I think I did a prime rib roast in there. Very expensive, too. Anyway, this is about every day, everywhere. It's a copper nonstick roaster with heavy duty steel rack. I'm thinking about possibly giving this away to one of my kids as a housewarming gift, or I may keep it myself. It was $9.99. Professional gauge steel core, extra deep. You know, probably my daughter versus my son, who's going to be moving um, next month, because she will try to cook sometimes. So I might give it to her. Maybe she can roast the chicken in there or something. Or I might keep it for myself. I don't know. Anyway, it was $9.99. I thought it was really cute with the copper, so I grabbed it. Have you guys seen these before? It says a counterfeit fit build detector. So I'm gonna try it out. Can you open one? Which one do you open black or blue? Okay, here, let's keep it black. And uh, I grabbed some bills. I normally keep hundreds, but because we're traveling, I have to break it down to 50s, y'all. I'm gonna try it on some of my bills and see if it's, because I know these ain't counterfeit. <laughs> So I'm gonna try it. I've never tried this before. You know what? Give me a one dollar bill. Let me try it on the one first. Cause if this mess up my bills, I'm gonna be mad. Well, I guess I, I see bills with marks on them. So let's see. It says on the package if it's fake, it's supposed to show an X. If it's real, it'll be no X or a light X. A fake, a dark X, I guess. So let's see. I know these ain't fake. Like I say, I'm traveling, so I broke down the hundreds. Cause you know some places don't want to give you change for a hundred. I usually let him keep the small bill. I hold on to the hundred, so let's try it. Okay, nothing. A little slight color X, not dark. Same thing on that. Same 
same thing here. Oh, I'm dropping 50s everywhere. Hey, we had a strip club. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so anyway, yeah, these bills aren't fake. I dropped one of my 50s, y'all. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I guess it does work, you guys. I'm going to say it works. Anyway, I found this at the 99 for 99 cents. We grabbed two of them, counterfeit bill detector. Okay, mark the bill on a light colored area. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, if it marks the bill. Okay, if the marks the bill are yellowish, the bill is genuine. They did. If it's dark, it's counterfeit. The mark will disappear after a few hours. Works on all currencies, includes ballpoint, pen, and on the other side. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. So the other side, how the hell do I get this off? Shit, I'm pulling. Oh, wow. So the other side is a pen, you guys. See, I didn't know that. That's what happened when you read. You find out stuff you didn't normally would know. You got the other cap. Okay. I got it. Oh, I probably dropped it. I don't know if I put it. Okay, y'all. Y'all, so y'all looking for this? It worked. Okay. He wants me to get this out the way, y'all. Uh, I'm going to have to probably adjust this. But anyway, let me read to you guys. It's a bathroom storage unit. It was 999 Mia Mar. Four-tier bath rack with glass shelves. Uh, with with shelves made from safety glass, height adjustable, floor friendly, floor, floor friendly plastic feet. And like I said, um, I'm gonna have to move it. Okay, so anyway, right here. It's a bathroom storage unit with the glass shelf. We thought it was super cool, and we had actually passed on it at first, and then we went back and got it. I thought it was super, I thought we could use it in our house, probably in the downstairs bathroom. So, there's like two sides to it. So, use this on the first side of the bathroom. Yeah. So this is really cool, $9.99. We're gonna uh, put this together and give it a try. Yes. Okay guys, as I previously mentioned, I've been grabbing Christmas gifts for my kids, you know, here and there and everywhere, it seems like. Mostly at the 99. This is by Num Noms. Uh, it's a scented nail polish maker. It was actually $9.99. And my daughter saw it on my Instagram and she was like, oh my God, I didn't realize it was this big. And uh, yeah. We got it for her for Christmas, so this is going to be for Layla for Christmas. It's really cute, and this is a big box, so like I said, if you get this for a little girl's gift, she won't even know it came from the 99. Just peel off this tag or cover it up with a gift, a bow or a gift tag or something or some washi tape or stickers or you know how y'all crafters do. Anyway, you get 50 plus nail stickers. It comes with a lot of different stuff. Um, you make, it helps you make scented nail polish, color, glitter, and polish. Okay, nail polish bottles and it comes, this is a, it's a kit. Scent it, mix, scent it colors. Whatever. I don't know. About Nom Noms. Uh, we're familiar with this. I bought her a lot of Nom Noms stuff. So yeah. She's gonna, she's really excited about this. And this is for her for Christmas. Okay. So for my son, this is a Christmas gift for him. I saw this. I was super excited. Because first we saw like the police F-150 truck. And I'm like, eh. You know, I'm not a fan of Ford, right? Found on the road dead. I already told y'all that. Sorry if you're driving a Ford. Hey. And so, uh, this is by World Tech Toys. This is a SWAT truck. When I saw that, I'm like, okay. Now, if I'm going to be police, I want to be SWAT. Or the U.S. Marshals or something. You feel me? I don't want to be no corny, just regular beat cop. You know? Anyway. Well, oh, sorry. My son's officer. Okay. Let's just change the subject. It's a remote control monster truck. What boy doesn't like monster truck? It was four, monster trucks. This is $14.99. This is a gift for my son for Christmas. I want to play with this myself, and I'm not even a boy. It's for ages six and over. He'll be six like two weeks after Christmas. It's his birthday. So anyway, he's going to really enjoy this. It takes a lot of batteries, it seems like. It takes seven AA batteries. So yeah, just be aware of that. Make sure y'all buy the batteries if you buy this. So your little kid won't be crying and all that stuff. Yeah, but that's for BJ for his Christmas present. One of them. Okay. Another Christmas gift for my son. It's this Striker Spy Droid. It's by Royal Tech Toys as well. Now it does it says age is 14 and over. I'm not going to let him personally operate this. His dad is going to operate it for him. It requires four AA batteries. Scan to see it in action. I did check this out online. And these go for like about 50 something bucks or more online. And I saw a commercial on TV with the same one but a different color for like 99 bucks. So yeah, it got the, uh, um, let's see. Well, maybe if I turn it around, huh? I don't know if that's the back or the front. I can't tell you which is which. Anyway, like I said, it comes with a little scan or remote control thing. Or, well, it's a drone. It's a drone. You guys know what that is, right? <laughs> when you spy, we might be the spy on the neighbors. Now I'm just kidding. 
Now, but yeah, I thought it was really cool. 2.4 gigahertz, 4.5 channel, picture and video camera, RC quadcopter. So whatever that means, y'all techie people or men's and boys, y'all probably know video picture camera, video picture camera. So yeah, I don't know what that means or how that works. I just know it was $19.99 and I know my son is going to be so excited to, you know, play with this or have his dad to help him with this on Christmas. And I just grabbed it and then hopefully it works and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, actually someone left me a message on Instagram saying they bought one that started smoking and making noises. So I'm hoping mine don't smoke and make noises. I'm just warning you guys. Alright, so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you did enjoy this haul, please. Don't forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. I will really appreciate it. Uh, leave me a comment. Uh, share this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I don't want, like I said, I can't stay on too long. I've already made this video too long. I gotta get out of here. We're about to load the car and take off. So, um, hope everybody's having a great evening, weekend, whatever. Um, like I said, I may not have any hauls for a while because, you know, hey, going out of town and deal with the situation. Neither here or there. Again, don't forget to follow me. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, follow your girl. I will never steal you wrong on Instagram and watch all my amazing finds that I did not buy. There's other stuff that was just as amazing as this stuff and even more amazing that I didn't buy. And uh, 99 Me Poppin', The Native Family, 99 Cisco and Morris, Sway to the 99 Mom for Nicole, Lily Black. If you're looking for like makeup items and other stuff and Dollar Tree, I mean, I'm telling you, Texas Raised, Texas Made on. YouTube and then all the other people on YouTube is Lauren Weston on YouTube, Paul Jones, Native Family, um, Mama for Nicole, myself, the Mom Life 7, a aka the Empress of the 99. Anyway, and on like I said on Instagram, 99 Me Poppin', I don't know if I mentioned her. She, oh my god, she finds some amazing stuff with her and 99 Cent Store and more. They're like the twins, I'm telling you. I'll be, be trying to keep up with them, I'm telling you, but. Check us all out on Instagram. Check us out on YouTube. Except for 99 Be Poppin' and 99 Cent Store More. But everybody else is on YouTube. And uh, Texas Raising Me, she's not on Instagram, but she is on YouTube. And Sway is not on, on YouTube. He's on Instagram. He has Sway to the 99 and he has Sway's deals. A lot of couponing deals and everything. Yeah, Mama for Nicole. She's on Instagram and YouTube. So again, check all these wonderful people out. Amazing people. If you follow those people and myself, you will find out what's the latest and greatest at 99, um, 99 Shopaholics. That's the only official Instagram and Facebook page of the 99. Follow them as well. You can join them on a group on Facebook or you can follow them on Instagram. Either way, if you want to know what's latest, the latest and greatest at the 99, follow all of those people. And there's other people's I may have forgotten. It's a deal. She's on Instagram and YouTube. Y'all, you know, just remember to stay sucker free and stay away from them frauds that try to act like they found it all and they found it first. It's not true. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. But either way, and be able to look out. I'm going to have many more videos coming and some recipes and other amazing things to follow. And I'll see you guys in the next one.